Upton upon Severn, a small English town located just outside of Gloucestershire, famous for its many summer festivals, is a hot tourism spot. However, that all came to a standstill in the summer of 2007. Two months worth of rain fell in one day, closing off the town to everyone. This is the average river level, and to that bridge is where it rose in 2007, meaning no one could get in and no one could get out. Rose Sturt's beloved late husband, Eric, was the skipper of the Conway Castle, which is usually moored in Upton upon Severn and where it was in the 2007 floods. Rose recalls the good times she had on the boat. And many an hour was spent on that, going up and down the river, taking people for parties and special celebrations, and everybody loved it. But unfortunately, it's not here now. It's difficult to imagine just how high the water reached in 2007, but most of this green land was completely underwater. Rose remembers when she helped clean the local boathouse, which was overwhelmed by the floods. When we were able to eventually get into the boathouse, um, we had to clear it all up and we had to, it had just all been refurbished, the cafe, and we had to just clear absolutely everything out. Everything was just full of silt from the river and everything just had to be thrown away. No good. And it took months before it could be usable again, really. The environmental agency and the local Worcestershire councils built this flood defence in 2012 and it goes all the way down the riverbank making sure that water doesn't come into the local businesses and houses. But they didn't have this in 2007 and locals say it makes a world of difference. It's got an extra, it's got to come up an extra couple of foot for, uh, for this is beaten and I, looking at its design it'll have a facility to go higher anyway so I think we'll be all right. They've done lots of good work round here, it's, and it's it's very good now. The wall seems to have added an extra layer of security when it comes to future flooding, and local businesses admit they feel much safer than they did in 2007. But rising water levels will always stay a constant threat here in Upton, and safety quickly turns to hope. Back in February, uh, two Februarys ago, the, the river was really very high and it almost came across the, the top of the, the glass. So presumably that could happen again in the future. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But it adds things down at the moment. That, that wall has been very good at doing its job. And the, so the ground along here has been raised as well. So again, that does make a difference. Flooding is a regular occurrence here in Upton on Severn. And these natural disasters shut down the entirety of the town affecting local businesses, families, and the whole community. Here we can see where a plaque used to be, showing the levels of the flooding in 2007, 6.7 inches higher than the Great Flood of 1947. Is this a sign of flooding only getting worse due to climate change? We'll have to hope the precautions that have been put in place will protect this town and many others around Gloucestershire. But for now, the people of Upton seem to feel safe and prepared for future flooding, saying it's all thanks to the security of the wall. And it seems all of its residents are happy to agree. Jack Shoot, Branch News.